I found another model of this ESP32 module which is Arduino based and this one is S2 Mini what is the difference from other ESP32 modules you're gonna find out in a couple of seconds this one cost from start from one US dollar and is going up to eight dollars also there is a Black Friday promotion so you can choose that so you, you can order this module for better price also they have a lot of another models like this one D1 mini micro USB or with type C but I have choose to order this one because I don't have it and it's a ESP32 S2 mini with a lot more digital pins I waited and of course I got it back in the back and it comes in violet color beautiful take a look how many digital pins are there wow S2 mini version 1.0 And take a look now. Can you hear it? No. Why? <laughs> because I fixed it. There now it's not making very annoying sounds. It's going smoothly. And let's take a look at 360 at the board. And let's say what it says, Mr. Google. It's a ESP32 S2 Mini is a small compact development board that features the expressive ESP32 S2 Wi-Fi only system on chip. It comes with single core 240 MHz processor, 4 MB flash memory and 2 MB of SRAM and USB Type-C connector for power and programming. Beautiful. So here it is a closer look of the module. It has only two push buttons. One is the reset, one is the boot, the type C connector for programming. From behind we have marked all the pinouts, which is super nice. And I need to solder these four pin headers on the board so I can test it and show you to you what you can do with this thing. Take a look, beautiful soldered pins. By the way, this module have uh, 16 on one side and 16 on the other side pins. Total your 32 pins. And the difference with this ESP32 C3 Mini that have only 16 pin headers. This one have 32 and it have 27 digital pinouts that is much more than this one and one more time to mention that it have 240 megahertz processor with 4 megabyte flash and 2 megabytes run all right i need to share something important uh, if you plug the type c cable right away to the to the module it will not work the first thing that you need to do is to hold this button where it says zero hold it then place the type c cable attach it to the pc computer and the computer will recognize and install the drivers and then you can upload the codes to the to the module very important thing to remember
Okay, let's cho choose tools and set the board. You go again to the ESP32 and choose ESP32 S2 development module. After that, we're gonna go to the examples. We're gonna go to basic and choose blink. Waiting, okay. And here where it says build LED built in, we're gonna use the GPO pin number 15. Sorry. And also we're gonna change here 15 and here 15 and then hit upload. Here is the first code. And take a look, we have a blinking LED. One second on, one second off. And from my Type C tester, you can see that it's pulling around 30 milliampers, 27. And why I love this S2 Mini? Because it has 27 GPO pins. That is a lot, and you can attach a lot of devices or sensors, whatever you want. Besides, that is giving 3.3 volts and 5 volts. Right, now I'm gonna test it with some Wi-Fi. Okay, the new code is already uploaded to the module and it's a Wi-Fi switch or Wi-Fi LED turning on and off. Take a look, on, off. And this is the basic Wi-Fi switch, so also, you can use more pins or more LEDs to control. Nice! To say thank you to my latest supporter, which is Danny from Belgium. And he wrote, Hello, I look up for the bubble wrap option to pack the coffee, but I couldn't find. Sorry if the coffee spilled it. <laughs> that is uh, funny. Thank you for supporting my channel, Danny. You can be a supporter to my channel and to my work and right now I have 17 followers who support me with one coffee you can choose for one time or you can be a subscriber to my coffee page thank you to all of you I make some changes to the Wi-Fi switch blinking LED code now I have add a brightness and also I can change the blinking speed of the LED take a look it's nice now it's going slower let's go to the fastest all right it's working fine also on this module you can hook up this kind of e-paper display which is my latest display that I experiment and I'm preparing new video to upload to my channel so you can see and make your own DIY project using this e-paper module it's not cheap and this ESP32 S2 mini with that have 27 GPO pins it's much better than this ESP32 ESP32 C3 mini okay okay that was all for today video please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya and the color is beautiful